Hey folks, howdy, and welcome back to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption. I'm the Mysterious JG. Last time, I managed uh, to, you know, hold my own at five card stud, or Texas Hold'em, or whatever. Yeah, no, it wasn't five card stud. That's the one whose rules I do know. I managed to do okay at the in-game card game, you know, folded once after maybe hanging in there a little longer than was wise with the hand I was dealt. But eventually I won a hand, which was all that was really needed to advance the plot in a mission that was about the dueling uh, tutorial, sort of, kind of, maybe. Not a tutorial so much as simply the first time the game forces you to duel. We will be forced to duel once or twice more before the game is over. Matter of fact, the very, very, very end of the game um, will involve a duel which actually I didn't realize. I don't know, we'll, we'll explain when I get there, but I found out many years after I thought I'd finished Red Dead Redemption that there was, like, another um, optional Strangers... Uh, like, you know, it, it was set up as a Strangers and Freaks type of mission path at the end of the game after the last story mission, which is, like, an epilogue to the story, which I didn't even know existed, so I never actually did it. But we'll get into that later. So... We're going to keep doing missions for... I failed to stop the crime. The horse thief got away. I, okay, I guess I triggered that to the point where I'll now take some kind of karma hit for having not... But I had no intention of doing anything about that particular crime, so whatever. So we're going to try to do another mission for Landon Ricketts if he's up for it. He's our buddy. The Mexican wagon train. It's like the Mexican gravy train, but less gravy and more wagon. Hey, gringo. Mr. Ricketts. Also a Brinko. Sit down and have yourself a drink. We're just sure. like, he's, he's just our buddy. This is nice. It's like the only hey, character in the game so far that we seem to like, other than maybe Bar Bonnie. Barney, I almost no. said. Yet. Say, why are you after him anyway? Didn't we explain? I guess not. We're old friends. We was kind of educated together. <laughs> so what is this, some kind of high school reunion sort of thing? <laughs> Something like Killed people. You live the life. <sighs> that I have. And I tried to stop. I mean, I don't know. I tried to go straight. I did. I left the gang after the gang left me. Left me to die after I'd been shot. They'd all gone crazy anyhow. Hmm. Our old leader, a fella you probably heard of. Oh, well, now they're going to mention anyway, him. He more or less lost his mind I guess and went not. And shot a bunch of people unfair like. I got shot in a robbery. They left me, and I left them. <laughs> well, that's how it goes. Now you're out for revenge, I guess. <laughs> or you're just trying to redeem yourself from your red deadness. I got you. Already had me a woman. Got me a farm. Then I got me more trouble. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> trouble. <laughs> Someone else will. That's not really There's an no answer. Escape. Look at me. I spent 25 years killing men. Before I finally decided what I loved was killing women. Sitting around here like some low rent would be messiah. Or a drunk. We're relics. Come on, have yourself another drink. Let's wallow in a little self pity. Sounds like a plan. Your health. It ain't getting Williamson killed. Mr. Ricketts. Hey, is I'm that so Louisa? I found you. And you, Mr. Marston. Will you sit down? Yeah, we haven't met her yet. How come she knows us? I'm well, sir. But Allende is sending more men to the death. Prisoners who have not been tried. A prominent writer, Castilla. And a local official whose only crime was not putting the small holders on the street when they were late with taxes. Writers and government officials. <laughs> Whoa, you're, you're, you're a close <laughs> talker. <laughs> what, what's going on? <laughs> Who's this guy sitting on my lap? Literally having me penetrate him right now. <laughs> oh, I was too distracted by that to be concerned with the fact that the plot is forcing us to work against the Mexican army here when I was really interested to see if I could possibly just totally side with them even though they're clearly wrong. All right, here we go again. Penetrating more people who are not supposed to randomly populate on that chair during a cinematic. It's his fault. Clearly, there's a cinematic going on. Hey, Louisa. I'm really glad that I could meet you again. Oh, wait. We've never met. You were unconscious. I'm sure they'll hold the execution until we get there. 
Oh, you're mocking me now, huh? Luisa was pretty shaken up. She's angry. This war is getting dirtier by the day. She's getting People prettier by the day. Just having an opinion. Melinda seems to have more enemies by the day. Perhaps you would know. Rumor has it you've been making all kinds of new friends. I don't pay much attention to rumors. Just be careful, John. Keep jumping from one side of the fence to the other. You might just get impaled. I've been trying really hard not to do that, but that is where the story forces you to go. How I do it is no concern of yours. Choose your tone wisely, partner. Remember who you're talking to. I'm the guy who keeps forcing you into duels. John Marston, apart from a rat feeding every other hand he can find, my name means something. All you've done is kill a few peasants, and the only real outlaw you've taken on dropped you like a bad habit. Mm. Now, I'd politely ask you to watch your tone, Rick. All I'm saying is, maybe there's a reason why people around here don't want to talk. Mm -hmm. You must miss your family. It's the only thing that keeps me going. That and hanging out with you, friend. Be a lot of myself. How I used to be. Stubborn and angry. And having you a family. You changed all that much. I always thought I'd lived a charm life. I've known... Look! It's an army convoy. I think I see the prisoners in those wagons. This is our chance. See if you can take control of that first wagon. Obviously, we gotta kill those guys. I mean... And got it. Got into too much trouble too early. No, I could see. I, yeah, this is. I guess you got to be smart in the sequence that you take these guys out. I don't. I just am not big on using red eye, a dead eye. I find that if you're a little bit lucky, see now they had more dialogue to go through. It was weird timing that. Like we couldn't have gotten through all the dialogue they wrote for these guys. Oh, you're not dead. That was part of the problem. So that was one wagon. Now I gotta hurry up and get this one. Before it gets... So I, I saved them both, because I got the one and he got the other. And I managed to keep both horses alive, which is important. Because I believe we will now be attacked as we try to... We're going to America today. Something, something around the world. We're coming to America. Something, something, don't know the words. We're coming, but when we get there, there's a beautiful, classy wall that's been erected, and the Mexicans paid for it. It's a historical game, not a sci-fi game. This is a Mass Effect Andromeda, which is set long after the days of the Trump presidency, and it's a beautiful wall. Okay, I was expecting to be attacked, but um, so far, it ain't happening. Feeling that once I reach a certain point, yeah, I don't think there's a point in rushing, because I think we are going to get attacked when we reach a certain location. See, this is what I always find if you uh, if you do the um, the auto aim thing. For me, it usually works at just as good as dead eye would. guy with the Gatling gun. I don't really think it's worth messing with him. But we're in America now, so the Mexican army really should stop. Okay. Now we've given the Mexican army plenty of reason to, to betray us and, you know, be evil, which I've hinted at strongly enough. <laughs> Assuming that they know it was us that did this. Are you the prominent writer guy? Are you the tax collector or whoever? Okay. As long as we got the two prisoners we were supposed to get. Oh, and he, he got the other one through. That's good. 
No, it is just going to take the prison card. No thank yous or anything. Uh, we'll handle it from here. I know you got other matters to attend to. It's been nice riding with you, Mr. Ricketts. <laughs> and you too. You took me back to another time. Well, I used to rescue prisoners. Lisa. She'll help you, and she's well connected in that other land. I hope you find what you're looking for, Marston. This is it for him. He's you know gone. I'm looking for. You know what I'm looking for? A little bit of that split tail. You know what I mean? No. If you say so, Marston. If you say so. And that's really it for the Landon Ricketts missions. I liked him as a character well enough. I remember thinking years ago that as I played through this game, I liked John Marston. I found some of the people that he was interacting with to be entertaining characters, but it kind of bummed me out that Marston did not appear to have any friends. And I liked the Landon Ricketts missions because even though they didn't last that long, I enjoyed that stretch of story because it was like John Marston getting to kind of have a buddy. Sadly, it would appear that, I mean, if memory serves, this is where those missions end. He does not show up unless he's like a, like Luisa pops up in, in one of his missions to have some dialogue. It's possible he will do the same in her missions, but I don't think so. If memory serves, that's it, because you have, he has ridden back to America as part of that mission, and now he's just going to go be in America and try to help those, those characters who didn't even talk to us after we saved them get going on their lives. Fair enough. So, I guess we'll just um, find some place to strike a camp so we can save our game and then move straight into doing missions for Luisa. But again, very annoyed by this turn of events because, I mean, the game's story is its story, and knowing where the story goes, I was kind of trying to play against it a bit, but in fact, the story with you doing missions for the Mexican army will not resolve itself until you've done a few things against the Mexican army as well. So you will be put in the position where you've played both sides. And I know it's kind of spoilery, but I've already given it away in the dialogue already at this point. You know they're not good people. I suppose it's, it's, uh, we could always uh, maintain that as the story advances, we are going to reach a point where siding with the Mexican army is unsavory and bad, but it does get us what we wanted. Like, we'd get Williamson through them, and we'd just feel sick about it, and it's a moral lesson the game teaches us. Maybe that's what's going to happen, but yeah. So I'll save. I'll go ahead and save over Lucky and Love, because I checked my last video, and it did seem like it worked okay. Let's go ahead and um, set the map down. The only missions we have to advance the story now are the Luisa Fortuna missions. She appears to be like in the middle of nowhere. Or just in a house somewhere, not in a town. So let's go talk to her. See if, you know, DeSanto is apparently not returning our cell phone calls. It just goes, I'm busy, call me back every time I call him. Like, we can't even get him to go bowling with us. He doesn't want to go see some fake American titties with Nico. So, um, I, I guess at this point you have to assume, well, he promised us that he would find uh, Bill Williamson and Javier Escuela, and he can't, and he's embarrassed, and he doesn't want to admit it. So let's spare him the... Oh, man... I guess it's too late to do a mission here. What time is it? It is... 4 o'clock in the morning. Wow, sun sunrise is pretty early around these parts. Am I misreading that clock? Am I crazy? No, it says it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Alright, well... I suppose we could ride around and look for... I mean, we could camp, but... We could also ride around for a few minutes looking for flowers, I guess. We need to uh, kill birds and get bird feathers for this deadless and sun. That might be my next bit of like off-screen adventuring where I just hope nothing too interesting happens that I have to feel bad about you guys missing. But to get all the shit for the deadless and sun mission, I'm probably just going to have to freaking run around for a while listening to a Mystery Science Theater sometime.
but sure enough, she just has like a little uh, a little house out here. There's people coming around and driving by. There appears to be some outside interest in the place, but yeah, there was a bird. I probably should try to shoot the bird because I was just saying that I need feathers. I kind of need to find low-flying birds to have a real shot of taking them down. Come on. I, of course, had some pretty impressive effort to climb that thing that didn't quite make it. It's like 4.30 now, so... Well, 4.20... Hey, wait a minute. What, what? Is that true? Is it? Oh, uh, it's 427. For So we missed 420, dudes. I saw a bird's shadow and got all excited. Honestly, one of the easiest ways to... So he gave me four bucks. Wasted a lot more than that in ammo, but um, it seemed to me like there were more than that many wolves. I guess I killed one and the rest ran off. So I did get to rescue a guy. That was interesting. Because we've certainly seen huge groups of wolves attacking somebody before in this game. I didn't know if it was always a quest. Don't you dare steal my horse now. Oh, it seemed like there was another one I didn't skin. Or at least there is on that little mini-map. What did he say? Did he say that stinks? Ha ha ha. So he said something and then he went ha ha ha. Yeah, there's like another one over here. What were you eating? Well, he was trying to eat that guy who gave us four bucks. Now, in theory, killing uh, killing some things and hanging around for a while can draw vultures. No offense, Bobo, but if we're trying to get feathers, waiting for vultures to gather around a corpse might not be the worst plan. But I'm not really trying to get a bunch of feathers. I'm just trying to kill time until we can do a mission for Louisa, and I think we can now. So, Not to mention, I think the vultures don't really like to show up if you're hanging around too close. Well, once again, though, there's a... seeing a bird's shadow. Hello, ma'am. I thought I'd call on you around 4 o'clock in the morning, but then figured, nah, I'll give you another hour. Oh, hey, there's chicken. Is that going to give me a feather? It's still not between five... I... I was pretty sure it was, um... All right, as punishment, I'm going to kill this chicken that's obviously part of your livelihood. Should get a chicken feather out of this. Chicken feathers times four. All right. All right. Is it... Oh, between 2 p.m. Oh, it must be after 2 p.m. It did seem awfully bright for 4 o'clock in the morning. Okay, I'm an idiot. All right, all right. So, basically, it was 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and she's she's clocked out for the day. How 
many chick how many feathers you got? If you got four feathers, that'd be awesome. Yeah, you should got more than four feathers. I should get plenty of feathers from this. What do I actually need for this deadliest quest? Maybe I can actually, uh... I know you. Deadliest is on light camera action. I don't know why this one isn't over yet. Twenty feathers, five oh beaver furs and red sage. All right, so the this one really has to wait anyway because the uh, the northern section of the game is the part that unlocks after we've dealt with the Mexico storyline. Oh man, there's birds all over the place. I realized as I shot that he was kind of, ugh. He's flying in a really awkward kind of place for us. Where he was flying out over a cliff. But the, uh, you know, so the main plot line of the Rio Bravo portion is the Bill Williamson and his gang and getting rid of them. And then uh, the main plot of Mexico land. Well, we have to deal with Javier Escuela and whom we haven't even encountered yet. And then the, um, the north will open up storyline-wise. But seeing as I just got four sets of feathers from each of those animals, so the 20 feathers was not as crazy as I thought it was going to be to collect. I thought that was going to be a huge deal to, to get. Um, as it is, I've got two songbird feathers, I've got four red sage, I've got 20 hawk feathers, so I've already got enough feathers, even without the uh, chicken feathers that I collected. But we've only got four red sage. So we need ten red sage, ten red sage, and five beaver furs. So in theory, if I encounter um, Rio Bravo, is that in the, is that in Mexico, Mexico land? No, it's not. So, um, eventually I'll need to go flower hunting up here so that when it's time to come up into the, um, tall trees area, we can actually, um, get some beaver stuff and, uh, wrap up that quest. In the meantime, clearly we're going to need to find some place to save our game to advance time to do this mission for Louisa because this is the only thing that we can actually do around here to advance Deadliest and Sun is the only thing that we already have enough of which is feathers. So we'll throw down a campsite. Our mission took only the first few minutes of the video and yet here we are almost at the end of a video now. It might just be best to just go ahead and save the frickin' game at this point. And uh, maybe even just call it a video. Our last video was going to be over early, but I ended up getting all chatty. It's the middle of the night, so if we save again, we'll advance time another uh, four hours or six hours or however it works. Basically, we just spend an entire day just kind of hanging around in this, uh, in this zone here. Killing time. Waiting for Luisa Fortina to get back from uh, her shopping or whatever the hell she's doing. I'm having a hard time reading that thing. Uh, I can't tell if the small hand is pointing down at the six or if it's 
matching up with the long hand. But if it's pointed down to the six, it's actually... We could go in here and do a mission with Luisa Fortuna right now. Come on, come on, get up there. There you go. I was hitting the thruster button for the Mako there. It didn't work. Uh, yeah, so let's call it a, a little bit early. As far as things to do to advance the story, I like, like, you will meet Luisa Fortuna as a character. She's she's a perfectly likable character. I've just been trying to avoid her missions to see if we could really commit to the side of evil and darkness. But obviously the people fighting the Mexican army are the ones that you're supposed to be rooting for here. So when we come back next time, uh, we will, in fact, see what we can do to help La Revolution. Uh, I'm the Mysterious GG. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Red Dead Redemption. Hasta luego.